Here we go again. Another year passing. And everybody saying Happy New Year. This the be long show. Young humanitarian style. Like I said before, I'm always here to bring consciousness, awareness to everybody. You know, we can turn around and do the same thing over and over again and we never even think about it. We just continue to do the same thing because it's routine. So I'm not going to go into the spiritual part of New Year's, but I just want to talk to you a little bit about what happens on New Year's and try to get you to think about that a little bit. The other thing I want to bring attention to is uh, your hater yesterday going to be your hater today. They're not looking for you to excel and they only rejoicing when they see something good going and then they want to be part of it or want to take advantage of it. So for everybody out there that's trying to do something or they got something going on, continue to handle that and just beware of what's around you. So one thing I want to touch on is um, once 12 o'clock hit on December 31st, midnight, going into January 1st, the new day, everybody goes crazy with this. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people like to go crazy with this New Year thing. Um, they like to shout and rejoice and get drunk and dance and jump around like something different happened than yesterday or the day coming up or the day before or the month before all of that stuff is still just the same nothing changed you know the only thing that changed to us is the day because even the time don't change time is man-made man came up with time time doesn't change things just continue to change we create history but time doesn't change God always still has the sun go the moon go the earth continues to rotate things just happen when we walk around and we in our houses or we all sat just imagine another time another place in time another point in time another person was there another spirit walked that same path that you walk another soul crossed that same path that you path that you pass it's not a new time we just create history it's, it's just something different happened nothing special you know we are doing the same thing over and over and over it's not a new day it's a different day we created time we respect time we make time but the only thing that really happened is is history if you ever get into the bible you'll see that history is made time doesn't change because all of those people in the bible are making the same decisions and choices and doing the same different things that we doing the other thing about new year's that is kind of weird to me is the ball drop i know they made that ball drop for to represent time passing but as i just explained to you time doesn't pass and for me myself something going down is not a positive thing i prefer to go up to keep improving to keep moving forward to keep progressing i don't care to have something go down and i don't want to forget what occurred in my history i don't want to forget what i know about history so i want to keep it up i don't want to put it down and bury it we also move into these new year's resolutions People think that they should make a New Year's resolution. So why do you need to wait on that particular day instead of just make that decision today? Make that decision tomorrow. You know, if you if you have something that you would like to resolve, something that you would like to change, waiting on January 1st makes no difference. And most people that make New Year's resolutions, 
those New Year's resolutions already faded away before February 1st, less than 30 days. So let's make sure that we're not, you know, playing with our own mind just because of New Year's. It's not even really a new year. It's just something else that happened. We created time. We created days, years, and all of that stuff so that we could track different measures that we wanted to track in life. But it's still just another day. Every day that God created, they are days. We don't necessarily need to recognize time. It's only for our own metrics. And then I also wondered why do people feel like they need to eat beans or peas for New Year's? And, you know, I did my research and I know that those beans and peas represent coins and wealth. And, you know, at this day and age, coins are almost useless unless they're actual gold or silver. And um, wealth is not necessarily financial. But the problem is we looking for financial wealth. So people eating these beans and peas and half of these people don't even know why they're doing that on New Year's. They just heard that they supposed to cook beans and peas and they just do it. You know, so I'm giving you the reason behind it, even though it's folklore. I'm telling you that that's why they did it, because they felt like it would create wealth for them. And so the last thing I really want to touch on is that um, finances don't necessarily mean wealth and finances definitely don't mean health. So if you want to be wealthy, look for spiritual wealth. Uh, physical wealth health wealth because looking for uh, cash reimbursement and loading up on cash is not going to help you if you have health issues it's not going to help you if you have spiritual issues you need to try to start developing your own personal self recognize that take acknowledgement to that and let that start to grow in your life this to be long show. Happy New Year. Enjoy yourself. But don't go overboard just because it's a holiday. Don't change your life just because it's a holiday. You know, enjoy the holiday as just something to do. It's just a holiday. Time that you can get off work. Time that you got time to spend with your family and friends. See you later. Young Humanitarian. I'm out.